Several state lawmakers are planning to push for Florida to make Juneteenth a state holiday. We mentioned the first Juneteenth was in 1865, but that was two and a half years after the Emancipation Proclamation. News 6 reporter Carolina Cardona tells us why it took so long. On June 19, 1865, news broke out in the small town of Galveston, Texas, that slaves were free. I think about education and how we can't ever stop educating people. For law professor Patricia Broussard of Florida A&M University, Juneteenth is a day she honors and celebrates her ancestors, but it's also a bittersweet day. The day brings a little bit of sadness for me because one of the things that um, enslaved people or the thing that enslaved people have always wanted aside from freedom is to be Americans, to be included in the system. Despite the Emancipation Proclamation going into effect January 1863, it took more than two years for that group of enslaved men and women to enjoy their freedom. The most probable reason would be because the Union presence in Texas was so limited. Um, and because of the size of Texas and um, how remote it was in comparison to the rest of the country at the time, it was it took some time for the Union troops to actually get there. That day officially marked the end of slavery. It's interesting as we're getting older and we're learning how um, whitewashed, I guess, our, hist our, our history is. It's interesting because it's one of those things that you don't learn about in school. On May 30th, 1991, the state of Florida officially began to recognize the historical day. In the wake of George Floyd's death and the global impact it's had, Professor Broussard hopes communities will not fall back in the fight for equality and justice for all. I hope that we don't miss this opportunity. I hope that all of these deaths have not been in vain. I hope that we use the knowledge that we have gained to move forward as a society. In Orlando, Carolina Cardona, News 6. And today, News 6 held a town hall to mark Juneteenth in this time of protest. Yes.